Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and just moments ago I was looking around for a, a certain book, and although I haven't found it yet, I found this little book kind of hidden in the top recesses in a shadowy corner of my bookshelves. And um, I love this little book, and I felt like I hadn't seen it um, in years, a very long time. And so I started flipping through uh, the table of contents, and I read uh, a short story by Baudelaire, one of my favorite uh, French writers, poets, uh, art critic. And I read um, The Generous Gamester, which is a great short story. It's uh, essentially Baudelaire uh, going gambling with the devil, and the devil making all of these promises uh, uh, in return for Baudelaire's soul, which he lost in a, um, in a card game, but the devil is going to give him all of these riches and travels, and uh, he's going to be um, uh, prosperous and uh, famous and wealthy. And at the very end of the night, <laughs> Baudelaire is uh, in bed, uh, worried that uh, the devil's not going to keep his word, and so he prays to God. Uh, he prays to God, please let the devil keep his word. And I was going to make a video about that because it was um, just uh, hit hit the spot. It really hit um, uh, a really good wavelength for me. And the the last line, which um, uh, Baudelaire always tends to do, just this one last line that kind of nails the ending, but I then came across Six Stories in Three Lines by Felix Fignon, and I'm familiar with Felix Fignon. I have this book, which is Novels in Three Lines, Felix Fignon, here he is, the uh, red-headed French anarchist, it's another picture of him, apparently very uh, severe, but ironic and very funny. And I absolutely love this book. I think it, it makes a great coffee table book or just one of those um, common books that you can have around. Uh, and it's exactly what it says, says on the tin. They are little three-line stories. They're actually newspaper items. Uh, Felix Fignon was, um, apart from being an anarchist, he was um, an art critic and um, a journalist, a, a newspaper man, um, very um, prolific, industrious, uh, varied writer. And he wrote these things anonymously. And the introduction of this book um, is, is fascinating, uh, especially uh, the format, that the, the thing that it is, the, the, these three lines. And at the time of uh, Fignon uh, writing these things, newspapers needed fillers. So um, as they are composing um, the, the, the layout the physical layout of the paper, they might have these little gaps. And so they would have um, writers just write um, like a crossbreed between a headline and an article. A headline length, a headlined length piece that would essentially give the gist of the story. And although this book is terrific. It's also uh, just a big baggy mess. There, there's no um, overarching story to be told. It's, it's just a collection of these newspaper items um, that Fignon had written. And I think he wrote them um, anonymously. But this little book, uh, great French short stories, um, curated this for me. So um, 
the editor, uh, selected and introduced by Jermaine Bree. It's a, such a great little book. Um, Jermaine Bree chose six of these, and this is this is it. It's the whole piece, and I thought I would read them. It's somebody else's selection, but it, it's curated, and just a few. Just a few minutes ago, I was just reading these and giggling to myself. It might be that I've, I've read a lot of these um, and do find them enjoyable. They're, they're, they're so um, uh, dark and, and tragic and real um, and just like, uh, just like people, uh, so surprising. So here we go. Um, Six Stories in Three Lines by Felix Fignon. <clears throat> in the home of his absent master at Neuilly, Soulot, a valet, established an amusing woman, then, disappear, di then disappeared, carrying away everything but her. <laughs> and they all, they all have uh, specific French uh, names and um, locations because uh, these were jur um, uh, journalism pieces. So uh, to even make it more abbreviated, uh, in the home of his absent master, a valet established an amusing woman, then disappeared, carrying away everything but her. Okay, number two. <laughs> uh, behind a coffin walked uh, Mangin, from Verdun. He did not reach the cemetery that day. Death overtook him on the way. So somebody carrying a coffin uh, died on his way to the cemetery. Um, we have two people, uh, Faciot and Varlot, two small boys from Nangis, Sign et Marne, had gaily rolled some logs onto the rails a freight train jumped the track. So two little boys rolled these logs onto, uh, <laughs> onto the train tracks and it uh, dis uh, derails uh, a train. Um, number four. <laughs> Someone was always preventing Mrs. Carduc of St. Owen from hanging herself from her window. Exasperated, she ran off into the fields. <laughs> Number five. Uh, at Clichy, a 70-year-old beggar, Verniot, died of hunger. 2,000 francs were hidden in his mattress. However, one should not generalize. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the last one. <clears throat> uh, to die like Joan of Arc, said Turbod, from the top of a pyre built with his furniture. The St. Owen Fire Brigade hindered him. I love that one. Uh, to die like Joan of Arc, said Turbo, uh, from the top of a pyre built with his furniture. The St. Owen Fire Brigade hindered him. So a man tried to burn himself to death, and <laughs> uh, the firefighters put it out before he could uh, do the deed. And maybe they're not all great. Uh, maybe it's not the best selection. Uh, but they all have that. They all have that irony. Um, and concision. Um, each one of those tells tells a story in three lines. You know who the people are, you know where it is, you know what the action is, and you know what the result was. Um, and they're, they're, they're brilliant and funny and dark and tragic and deeply human and um, quick, quick to read. Uh, you, get, you get this little powerful experience. Um, so, those six stories in three lines by Felix Fignon, which I found in uh, this old uh, 
Dell Laurel edition of great French short stories selected and introduced by Germaine Brie. Uh, let me know if you've read anything by Fignon or if you have any thoughts. So thank you for watching and please leave a comment. Take care.